Top Chef Season 10 is just around the corner, and we caught up with former chef testings to find out what they're up to now and what advice they have for the new class. How has life changed since Top Chef? Nothing, not at all. It's all the same. <laughs> a lot of people want to stop me and take pictures, and um, you know, it's nice. It's like people get so many people saw me on the show, and and even though I didn't win, a lot of people are coming up to me telling me I was their favorite. So it's it's really nice, and uh, it's nice to just be able to connect with the people that have been following me. So it's it's great. It's a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of pictures, <laughs> but uh, it's been a lot of traveling, and I've I, there's been a lot of opportunities that that have opened up, and. I've been just traveling and eating the world and hopefully bring all those ideas back to Austin. I'm based in Atlanta. We're working to open a restaurant called Mason, hopefully by the first part of next year. I probably wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for Top Chef. It's the best way to sum it up. Yeah, I mean, Top Chef was a really great experience. Um, it helped me, uh, you know, raise money for, for my two restaurants. Helped me, you know, I'm working on a third project in New York City right now. Um, and getting that exposure is just uh, invaluable. You know, it's 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 just getting recognized a lot more, you know. Uh, but it's great opportunities like this come up, and uh, you know, we're just uh, we're forging ahead. I got a cookbook that's coming out next year, and uh, hopefully a new restaurant by winter. Basically, the cookbook is about sort of my journey. You know, I'm a Korean kid that grew up in Brooklyn, that moved to the South and, and does this like weird cuisine in the South, and. Uh, Every time I meet someone, the first question is always, how'd you end up in Louisville? So like, the book is my answer, but in a long way. There's season 10 coming up. What advice do you have for the upcoming season chef testings? Um, basically just to cook with your heart and don't worry about winning, because if you're proud of what you do and you know, you're know you confident in your skill, you will do well. My feeling is that everybody should you know, enjoy Top Chef, experience it, but they shouldn't necessarily um, quit their jobs and, and think about just like, doing something different immediately because it's it's going to change your life but not to the degree where you still need to figure out how to pay your bills so I, I, I like to suggest people to to take some time slow play it a little bit keep their keep their current job and then figure out their next move has your relationship changed with say the judges Tom Padma Gail since you won slowly I'm starting to loosen up to them like uh, yeah I mean our relationship is Definitely changing a little bit, because, but I definitely still see Tom like, oh, hey, hi, Chef, how's it going? But, uh, you know, I'm learning to loosen up. <laughs> I can't wait for the next season. Thanks for watching Yum Sugar TV.